Hi guys, welcome to another physics video. In this case, we are going to see how to draw a vector. Okay, so let's imagine that I have, a, uh, that I have this vector. The vector, the velocity vector. Oh, uh, before we continue, I guess I haven't told you that the way to write a vector is with the letter. For example, the letter to uh, identify the distance is x or position but if you draw a little arrow above the letter that becomes the vector so this is the displacement vector this is the velocity vector the acceleration vector the force vector and so on and so on and so on so if the letter has a little arrow above so that means that we're talking about a vector. So let's say, for example, I'm gonna I'm gonna write the, the velocity vector equals. Uh, let's say that is going to be mm, 10 meters per second at uh, 60 degrees. Okay. So if you see, I'm providing the magnitude, magnitude, and the uh, direction. That's why it's a vector. So I'm going to represent, or I'm going to draw this vector. So there are many ways to do it, but for example, uh, let's do it in a proper way. So the first thing we need to do in order to draw this vector, I need to draw a Cartesian plane. And I'm gonna draw it. Uh, I know that you can draw it better because you have a notebook, I mean, uh, this is my Cartesian plane and I'm gonna fill this Cartesian plane with data so um, this is the x-axis x and this is the y-axis also uh, this is where zero degrees is this is 90 degrees this is 180 degrees this is 270 degrees and also this could be 360 degrees got it also we have that this uh, little square over here is the first quadrant this is the second quadrant this is the third and this is the fourth quadrant so if you see my vector is at 60 degrees, okay, so that means that that vector is going to be located in the first quadrant between zero and 90 degrees. Okay, so I'm going to draw this vector. I'm going to use the blue color. So the vector that I'm going to draw is going to begin from the origin of the Cartesian plane yes so i'm going i mean it's not going to be an exact uh, angle but the only thing that i know is that is between zero and 90 degrees so that vector should be something like this it's going to be a line and at the final of the line you are going to make an arrow yes pointing outside that vector so this is the vector this is the vector and this is the angle of the vector we are going to use this uh, Greek letter that is theta so the vector this is the vector so the bigger the line the bigger the magnitude of the vector so for example if I had um, um, a vector with magnitude of one meter per second so the line is it was not going to be the same length of this line. It's going to be, well, I don't know, something like this. Now, you don't need to do it, um, I mean, an exact way. I mean, this is just for representing uh, in order to draw the vector, in order to for you to understand that the bigger the line, the bigger the magnitude. And the direction tells you where in which quadrant you are going to draw the vector yes 
Okay, now another thing. The angle, the angle that we have here, one important thing is that the angle is measured from zero degrees. From zero degrees. Always, always, always. So, ah, and it's, and it's going to be counterclockwise. It's counterclockwise. So that means that it's going to be measured just like this in that direction. Yes, so this angle over here is measured like this. Over here. Yes, from zero degrees all the way until it touches the vector. Okay? Well, I'm going to make an example of drawing three vectors. Okay, we have these three vectors and we are going to locate them in a Cartesian plane. So that means that we are going to draw them. Uh, I'm going to make a single Cartesian plane for each one of them. So I'm going to draw it again. I'm going to draw my Cartesian plane. I'm going to fill it with information. I mean, it's not necessary that you fill uh, every Cartesian plane that you draw. I mean, I'm, ju I'm just doing because this is the first video where we are drawing vectors and it is important for you to practice and keep the information uh, fresh. Okay, so this is the first quadrant, the second, the third, and the fourth quadrant. Okay, so this vector, the vector one is going to be the red one uh, this is going to be the blue one, and this is going to be the green one. Okay, so first, the vector number one is at 120 degrees, so that means that it's going to be between 90 and 180. So, and it's going to be 5 meters per second. This is the magnitude, and this is the direction. So remember, I told you, uh, those vectors uh, are going to begin from the origin of my Cartesian plane. I mean, there is another. There is uh, also there is another method where you can place the vectors one after another. But uh, I'm not going to see that method in this course. But just to tell you that exists uh, something beyond this course uh, exists. Okay, so I'm gonna draw it. 120 is going to be something like this. Yes. I'm not going to write that this is the vector 1 because uh, it's the red flag, sorry, the red color. Okay, and then the blue one, it says that 200, so it must be in the third quadrant, and it's 10 meters per second, so it should be something like this. And the third vector is going to be the green one, it's at 350, and it's 15 meters per second, so it should be something like this something like this so if you see every um every line is bigger is than the others because i told you the bigger the magnitude the bigger the line and also i'm gonna have the angle so the angle i told you is going to be measured from zero degrees so this is the angle of the vector one the angle theta one the angle of the vector number two, well, is this one. That's the angle. And the angle of the vector number three is this angle over here. Sorry, it's all the way, all the way. Got it? Uh, yes. So this is the way how to draw a vector in the Cartesian plane. Uh, also, before I finish this video, <laughs> for example, uh, here in the Cartesian plane, we also have that this uh, x-axis or zero degrees, this, that also can be E for east and for north, W, for west, and this is going to be S for south. 
Yes, that can also be um, described like that. And for example, the direction northeast is the middle, is the middle of them. Uh, so if it's the middle between zero and 90 degrees, northeast is going to be at 45 degrees. Northwest is in the middle, so it's going to be in 135 degrees. Uh, southwest is going to be at 225 uh, degrees. And southeast is going to be between 270 and 360, so it's going to be at 315. Okay? Well, I hope you, uh, this information is helpful for you. Uh, this is only the way to draw the vector. We're using the Cartesian plane. Just remember uh, the line and the arrow, the, the line, the bigger the line is the bigger the magnitude. And also we need the direction. Very important that the angle is measured always from zero degrees and is measured counterclockwise. Got it? Uh, in the following video, we're going to see more theory and more examples about vectors. See you guys.